Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to be talking about diffusion. It's a very very common topic. Uh, a lot of people know the topic okay so it's very easy so to say because of the definition all right so but of course we'll see more terms when we come now start talking about osmosis in the next episode okay so do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jump app it is all you need to succeed in your exam i am recommending it for you all right download the app right now from play store it asks all the past questions so you don't need to go and buy past questions it asks classroom feature that has lecture notes that are structured according to the jam syllabus lovely so you don't need to go and buy test books okay we also have the question sad feature okay we can start for question according to topic and then we have the bomb all right that we call the utme mock challenge it's a challenge that will conduct every saturday for you you compete with your mates okay you win prizes get used to our jam set that question get used to jam pass questions and of course build your confidence towards the main exam all this and more for just a small token all right so please download the app immediately activate it and start practicing like your life depends on it and you'll see yourself smiling like never before in your classroom in the university with your lecturer wearing eyeglass like me okay so now let's talk about diffusion okay we already know what diffusion is all right i'll say that diffusion is what is the movement okay of, of what of molecules from the region of what of higher concentration region of higher concentration to a region of what of lower concentration all right say the movement of what of molecules all right from a region of higher concentration higher concentration concentration to a region of what lower concentration for example now when you mens okay if you mens here now you know you know they perceive them with the commodity they come out, go you go they go from a region of high concentration the mens that yeah now yeah that's how that's from now from your bomb bomb before come out okay so that means it's hot at that region okay so it now diffuses okay to what other what regions where the mens never first day okay so some of you now if you mess yeah if you mess oh god if you mess problem would they so that is diffusion okay from region of high concentration where it is highly concentration concentrated rather to region of what of low concentration all right that is the definition of diffusion and diffusion cannot occur without what we call concentration gradient without what we call what concentration gradient Okay, diffusion cannot occur without what we call what what is called what concentration gradient. This concentration gradient that we're talking about is the difference. Okay, the difference is the amount of particles, amount of solutes, or amount of what molecules between two media or between two regions. Okay, between two media or regions. Okay, we say what concentration gradient is the difference, difference, D-I-F-F-E-R-O-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Okay, is the difference in the what? In the amount of particles, amount of solutes, or amount of molecules between two what? Media or what? Regions. It's just like a measurement. It's a measurement of what? Or the difference between what? The concentration of two regions. All right? That is what concentration gradient is about. Okay? We say concept, uh, diffusion is the movement of what molecules from region of what? High concentration to region of what? Lower concentration. All right? And we said diffusion will not occur without what we call a concentration gradient. Okay? And of course, we say concentration gradient is what? Is the difference between the amount of solute particles or molecules between what two what regions of two media or what two regions okay so that is what concentration gradient okay now i'm going to see the importance okay this class is going to be very short all right i'm going to see the importance of diffusion okay diffusion is also so very 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 important okay to plant okay it's important to what to heal we humans especially we humans is very 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 important all right now let's talk about the importance of diffusion Number one, it helps or aids in the exchange of digested food, of digested food from the intestine into the bloodstream. Okay? From the intestine into the bloodstream. It helps or it aids, number one, it aids in the exchange, exchange of digested food. Okay? From the intestine into the blood stream all right so diffusion helps or aids in the exchange of digested food 
from the intense time into the bloodstream. Okay, it helps or aids in the exchange of digested food, food that has been digested. Okay, it aids in the movement of those sort of food or molecules. Okay, from the intestine into the blood stream. All right. Then also number two, it also aids in it also aids in the exchange of gases between aquatic organisms between aquatic organisms okay an example is what uh eg is amoeba and water okay so it also aids in what in the exchange of gases between aquatic what organisms eg what amoeba all right so like amoeba and water it helps in what in the in the what in the exchange of gaseous what uh of gases between what aquatic what organisms such as what amoeba like just like we have amoeba what and water all right then of course thirdly also it helps um in the number three it helps in the exchange of gases during respiration okay so it also helps in the exchange of what of gases during respiration these are the what the importance okay it's the usefulness of what of diffusion all right we'll talk about diffusion talk about concentration gradient talk about the importance of what diffusion number one the exchange of digested food from the intestine into the bloodstream okay exchange of gases between what aquatic what organism which amoeba and water then of course it helps in the exchange of gases during what respiration now i'm going to what go to the o3 school jam app and what and take a question concerning what this topic all right let us look at uh, a 2022 question i want to make this video as short as possible it's a 2022 question number four 2022 number four it says dash is the process by which molecules of substances dash is the process by which molecules of substances such as liquid gases move randomly from a region of high concentration once you hear from a region of high Okay, to a region of what? Low. Okay, you all know that is what diffusion. All right. If it's from low to high, that, that means we'll be talking about osmo osmosis. All right. So they say move randomly from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration until the particles are evenly distributed. Until the particles are evenly distributed. It's called what? A, they say diffusion. B, osmosis. C, turgidity. D, flaccidity. Okay. And the correct answer there will be what? Will be diffusion, which is option what? option a all right so these are many more questions are on this app please make sure you download the app activate and start practicing likewise do not forget to subscribe to the channel do not forget to like this video and do not forget to keep sharing i will see you in the next episode thank you for watching